Hey guys, it's Joe Go from Joe Go Motorcycle Adventures, and today we're going to be going over the full face helmet versus the half shell helmet. I know a lot of you guys are trying to figure out what kind of helmet do you want to wear while you're riding your bike. So today we're going to go over the pros and cons of both the full face and the half shell helmet. All right, guys, let's start off with this full face helmet here. We're going to go over some of the pros of it. I would say the number one pro of having a full face helmet is if you end up getting into a motorcycle accident, you're going to have the most protection with this bad boy on, without a doubt. So according to the National Highway Traffic Administration, so according to the National Highway Traffic Administration, wearing a full face helmet increases your chances of surviving a motorcycle accident by 29%. I don't know about you. I value my life. If I gotta wear this, so be it. The second biggest pro for wearing a full face helmet is gonna be you can ride in the elements with this. I don't know how many of you have ever gotten caught in the rain. I'm sure we all have. It's just a part of riding. If you get caught in the rain with this, you have a windshield right here. Right here. Say you're cruising down the road, beautiful day, all of a sudden a rain, rain cloud comes by. Boom. You got this little windshield, flip this down, no more rain in your face. I've ridden a motorcycle with a half helmet and no helmet in the rain before. And once that rain starts hitting you, especially on the freeway, that's where you get screwed. All that rain's going in your face. I got caught in a downpour. It starts getting sucked in my mouth. I couldn't breathe. Nobody wants that. Get out of here. Third biggest pro with this helmet is you're going to have a lot less noise with wearing this helmet. If you're on the freeway especially, you, your whole, both of your ears are going to be covered. Fourth, <sighs> the fourth biggest pro with this helmet is you're not going to have a bunch of bugs, rocks, flying debris on the road coming at you, hitting you in the face anymore. Because usually when I ride with a full face helmet, I leave this cracked so I can get some airflow, and I don't get hit in the face with bugs or anything anymore. It's a beautiful thing. Who wants to get hit in the face with a bunch of bugs? Not to mention, say something flies off of a pickup truck or something while you're going down the highway and it ends up hitting you in the face, that could do catastrophic damage to your face. I don't know about you, this is my money maker right here. For the fifth pro with having this full face helmet here, I would say is you can ride in cooler weather and your face isn't going to be freezing. Sometimes you ride in the fall, it starts getting dropping down to like 50s, 60s. I'm out here in Ohio, so you never know what it's going to drop down to. And I found that this is a lot better to wear in cooler weather, so that way your face isn't free. Let's move on to the cons. All right, so it's kind of a little bit of give and take with this full face helmet. I would say the first con is you're not just going to have that much airflow as much as if you were riding with no helmet or a half shell helmet. I mean, yeah, you can open this up, you can get some pretty decent airflow coming through here. It's just not going to be as cool as wearing a half shell helmet. Second disadvantage is this helmet's just going to be a little bit heavier than the half helmet. Depending on which kind of full face helmet you get, it might start getting a little pressure on the back of your neck for some long rides, but I went 2,200 miles with this helmet right here, and I didn't have an issue with it. So it's not super noticeable, it just depends on what kind of helmet you get. The last con that we're going to go over for the full face helmet is, it's just simply going to be harder to talk to people when you have this thing on. I gotta spring a leak and go get some gas. Can you hear me? Did you just say I had a big ass? Especially if you're riding with a bunch of buddies and you're at a stoplight or something, it's you're not. It's going to be impossible to talk to them because the engine's going. You got all the traffic noise and whatnot. So that that could be a con. But I mean, who wants to talk while you're riding, anyways? Screw that. All right, guys. Let's talk about the half shell helmet. Let's let's start off with a few pros. Number one, the the first pro of this helmet is you're going to have plenty of airflow. You, not like the full face helmet. I mean, you see this right here? You got all this open right here. So you're going to have wind hitting you for days. All day. Second pro with this helmet is it's going to be super lightweight. This half shell helmet right here, 
I think it only weighs like two pounds or something, something like that. It's not much at all. So especially for long rides, you're not going to get pressure on the back of your neck. It's, you're not going to get sore. It's, it's, it's great. Third pro to this helmet is it's just simply going to be easier to talk to your buddy uh, compared to the full face helmet. I mean, you're going to have this on. You don't have anything blocking your mouth or anything. The last advantage of, of this helmet, in my opinion, you just look a little cooler than wearing the full face helmet. If you're about the looks, I mean, this doesn't look too bad. What's up, baby? All right, now let's talk about some cons with this helmet. But before we do that, if you're enjoying this video, give me a like and subscribe if you want to. All right, now on to the cons of this helmet. So first off, it's plain and simple. You're just not gonna have that much protection with this helmet. As I said before, if you get into a motorcycle accident, most of the damage that gets done to you is right on the chin. As you can tell, chin's wide open, and I'm gonna screw up my money maker. Second con is no protection from the rain. I've been on the highway with this thing on, rain blasts me in the face, can't see nothing. It, it just sucks. Another con is you're just gonna get blasted in the face with bugs. I know it's, it's a part of riding, you're gonna get hit with bugs, but you know, after a while, it gets kind of old getting blasted in the face with a bunch of bugs. It just, it blows. And lastly, you're not going to have any protection from flying debris or anything. You're going to get little rocks coming up from you from if you're following somebody. All right, so we just went over the pros and cons of both of these. And to me, it's just clear. I'm going to use the full face helmet. You're going to get more protection, which is the number one priority. The other reason why I'm picking this is because you're not gonna get anything blasting you in the face. Rain, bugs, flying debris, nothing. I already get hit in the face by my wife enough, so why take more abuse on the bike? I'm just kidding, she don't hit me in the face. Send help. But either way, as long as you're wearing some type of helmet, it's better than no helmet, right? Leave me a comment, let me know which helmet you prefer and why, and we'll have a friendly debate. All right guys, that's it for now. Appreciate you watching. We'll see you next time.